Now, it's the spookiest time of the year, but why should what? your oh, pets... Oh, 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 oh. Is, that, is that a spooky noise? Well, no one's... Come on. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got anything? We don't need it. We don't need it. Listen. Thank you. We want to help your <laughs> pet... <laughs> Rub it! Some... I think that was my tummy, actually. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was the worst sound effect ever. Uh, <laughs> there must be a few your... in the locker upstairs. We want your pets to enjoy some Halloween fun. Yeah, whether you want to dress your pug as a pumpkin or turn your dash hound into Dracula. The shops are full of outfits perfect for your four-legged friend. And Dr Scott is here with us now with his pick of the best and some advice around Halloween, cos that's important too. Yeah. Right? Well, I must say, I absolutely love Halloween. I really do. It's, uh, it's a great... There's a great sense of community spirit, you know? It's really... There's not very often that you go around your neighbourhood uh, it's safe. You can bring the kids out. They're meeting loads of their friends. You're seeing all your mates who have got kids. Yeah, You're nice knocking trouble. on doors of neighbours that you maybe don't say hi to. People make an effort. Like, so I, I, I really enjoy it. I know it's, it's very commercial, but if you look past that, the community spirit is wonderful, so please do get involved. But I would say I'm be in. careful with your, with, with your pets, particularly your dogs. Um, a lot of them are quite noise-phobic. There's a lot of flashes. There's some strange outfits yeah. that can be quite scary. And also, fireworks kind of start around this time of year oh, as well, sure. don't they? Well, Diwali as well in the lead-up as well, so there is a lot of bangs and whistles that are going around. Sure. And, you know, and people are in frightening outfits as well. So you do want to kind of take that into account before you take them on your Halloween journey with you. Yeah. And also, uh, the pet has to be kind of not stressing out from the outfit, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. So you need to make sure they're nice and comfortable, they're not, not too tight, that they uh, are still able to sort of perform normal doggy behaviours. Uh, you know, just really that they seem comfortable. And if they don't, maybe it's just for a second, for an Instagram yeah. photo, not really for uh, a walk around the local streets. But, look, I really feel like this next thing is the culmination of six years of veterinary medicine. <laughs> um, this literally is this, what I've been training for my whole life. <laughs> this, my friends, is the health. <laughs> Halloween fashion Sorry to show. put you through this, yeah. <laughs> so, first success, here we go. Uh, this is Ned with Matt. Oh, look and, at Ned. And uh, Ned. Ned is styling out uh, a very amazing dinosaur dog costume. Uh, only eight pounds from Madeline, that one. Absolute star. Um, it's with Dad Matt. Um, and look, he is very, very happy, very relaxed in that. When you're wearing sort of the thicker jackets, just make sure that they um, are not overheating too much. I think this Halloween's going to be quite cool, so it probably should be just fine. He seems pretty happy about life, doesn't he? Oh, he's a lovely Ned's fellow. like a big teddy bear, isn't he? He is, really. I mean, that is a, is a great 80s perm, and that came natural. Oh, he's so, gorgeous. Yeah. Whether, it, whether he needs an outfit at all, um, he's, he's looking great in it. But thank you so much, well, Matt. Ned's Matt, got his what own kind of dog is, uh, well. is Ned? Uh, he's a miniature golden doodle. Miniature? You miniature, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or and not. And he's got his own Instagram, hasn't he? He's got his it's own Instagram. Ned the Golden Dude. He has amazing. indeed. Stop it. <laughs> he is indeed, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I can't believe he's on Instagram. Yeah. I'm going to follow him today. What's, right. what's, what's his Instagram? Ned the Golden Dude. All right. Yeah. Bye -bye. Okay, let's Ned move the Golden Dude. I feel like the, the star has been pulled away from, from Scully, who no everyone way. knows. I love Scully. Is the this morning dog. Has he and got here Instagram? she comes Fleur, looking so with Auntie. Look, Auntie Fleur's got you. It's fine. This is our wonderful Fleur. And then here's Scully wearing her spider <laughs> outfit. Um, spider your eyes are upside beard. down. Um, <laughs> oh, look at her. <laughs> so so she, she's looking relatively <laughs> unimpressed wearing that. It's, um, it's a spider costume from joke.co.uk. Uh, 24 quid, but I, it looks absolutely fantastic when she walks along. It scuttles in a perfect way. Um, I like Fleur's jumper. Can we just, like, look at that? Strong it's got eyes on, on it. Your head for, um, sort of shrunk in the wash there, Fleur. Yeah, right? a little yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> 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 never mind. That but, yeah, so look, this is the kind of outfit I would say that, look, you know, um, Scully's yawning a little bit, so maybe she's a little bit nervous with that one, so we might be taking that off quite quickly, but um, she's got a lovely frock to come, don't you worry. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. Good girl, come Scully. On, well done, baby. Scully. You go with Auntie Fleur. Oh, go on. She doesn't want to go. Bye, baby, I love you. Come on. Oh, right, and next we've got Leo and Shaz. I want to be with Dad. Leo has also got a spider costume. Oh, look at Leo. Leo. Look at that. Leo. It's a little bit camouflaged there. You can see the eyes there. There's Leo looking nice and comfortable. Being a brachys phallic, a flat-faced dog, you want to be really careful that it's not too tight around the neck and that they are breathing quite comfortably, not overheating at all, um, even in the cooler temperatures. But uh, that's a, a great little outfit there. Only eight pounds for pets at home. It's a bit Shaz difficult to see on Leo because he's actually black. Yeah, it's a bit of a camo outfit for you, isn't it, mate? It's but so look, look, cute, I mean, I think it's all those extra legs that probably gives it away. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Is he French Bulldog? Or yes, Boston? French yeah. Bulldog. Oh, he's a lovely boy. Leo. 
Loves Good the smell, boy. doesn't he? Thank you, Chuck. Thank, Thank you. you. So, look, um, the devil, yeah. there are some toys and treats that you can get out there. So, just be what I would say is just be really careful with all the different foods that you can get hold of. Particularly um, uh, sweets, they have xylitol in them, which uh, makes dogs become hyperglycemic. And also, chocolate, of course, we all know that's a problem. Foreign bodies, they eat lollipops um, and gastrointestinal upsets as well. So, do be very, very careful. Right, so we've got three more looks to come. Matt's got Ned again, and Ned this time is wearing Ooh. a lion costume. So, again, you know, I mean, I mean, is he? Arguably, you'd say he's, he's out, his own oh, outfit. I love it. The costume that's completely not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight pounds from Madeleine. Maybe exactly like the dog. <laughs> but look, you're looking very good and very comfortable there. And um, do you want to have some of this? Oh, so it's got some Also, what I would say is if your dog there. is a little bit nervous at home, do you try and maybe give them treats and things so when people come to the door, to distract them with those whilst you're giving the kids lots of sweets and lots of goodies. Thank all right. you for Ned. That's a good, good boy. Idea. You can have that, Ned. That's Thank all yours, you, mate. Thank uh, you, so Ned. next, Scully is back, looking very pretty, <laughs> uh, with Fleur I in her. I love about you. Went, Ooh, you think look, so. look at my baby. Oh, look. Oh, How cute oh, she looks. <laughs> She's so cute in that. No. I know, like, I mean, she looks very happy in that. A try. Very beautiful. I think you'll all agree. Um, she's wearing a lovely little outfit there from <laughs> the range. It's basically a pet jumper dress. I love Four that. Quid. She's what a bargain. So nice. Sweetheart. Well, and you could buy something lovely. to match it, maybe. Job, eh? Well, every year we've actually, well, we've recycled the baby's pumpkin outfit. And because we've got four kids, they've all managed to wear the pumpkin outfit en route. So, uh, yes, the youngest will be in the pumpkin this year and be matching perfectly with oh, our little Scully thank here. You. But look, she seems pretty comfortable with that one, Flower, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah she seems happy. pretty happy. Come on, Scully. See you, Bye, Hello. baby. See you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we've got Leo and Shaz. Come out, Leo. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. Come on. This is really smart. Is he a yes, wizard? Leo. So what do you think there? So I think Leo's looking pretty comfortable yeah. in that one, Shaz. Yeah. And look, yeah. he's, he's got that lovely little hat. And then a beautiful little outfit there. I think it looks great. I think it very much suits his colouring. I think you'll agree. Is there anything to and look out for? And that's £14. Safe, like, What's that, sorry? Is there anything to look out for? Flammable and in stuff order, like that, In order maybe. to keep them safe. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, most of these things are, are, are relatively cheap fabric, so you do need to be um, careful, as Dermot said, about being flammable and being anywhere near, um, uh, you know, um, candles and things, which of course go in the jack o' lanterns as they go outside. Uh, but more than anything, it's just that it's not too tight around their neck. And if they aren't particularly comfortable, then look, really, it is just for a great photo, but maybe don't take them out and about in it. But look, you can see here, like, I mean, you look, seem pretty comfortable and pretty happy. I'm going to quickly also mention there's a number of um, treats and things you can get. You can see that um, this guy, he's getting right stuck in. There's some Halloween character balls uh, that Leo's absolutely loving from Pets at Home. Ten pounds for those. Should we just, there we go. Over it goes. And then we've also got some box here, box of treats there from Betty and Birch. But just be careful, any foods that you are feeding your dog, including <laughs> bat droppings, apparently, um, they don't upset their tummy. If you've got a sensitive um, gut on your doggy, then maybe don't give them those and stick to normal foods. Yeah. But yeah, Halloween should be fun, but just nice and comfortable for your pooches, please. Yeah. Aww, well, listen, I think we've got a new star of the show as well. Check him out. <laughs> Leo is yeah, really loving he's, that. He's Leo. really loving Good it, isn't job, he? Mate. <laughs> Well, listen, details for all of today's products <laughs> as well as more suggestions are available on our free This Morning app. Just head to shop the show.